let's talk about some things you would do as the nurse to care for the patient with hypomagnesemia. You should first assess. Assess for arrhythmias and early signs of neuromuscular irritability. Again, assessing for neuromuscular irritability can be done by testing for a positive Chivostex or Trousseau sign. You're also going to want to assess your patient's level of cognition. Now this is very important. If your patient is receiving magnesium sulfate via IV, you're going to want to monitor your patient's blood pressure closely for hypotension. Because remember we said earlier that magnesium causes vasodilation. Now if you remember back to anatomy and physiology, vasodilation leads to a decrease in blood pressure. So hypotension may be a sign that your patient is experiencing a toxicity from the magnesium sulfate. Also keep in mind that anytime a patient is being supplemented for an electrolyte deficit, this puts them at severe risk for toxicity of the electrolyte that is being corrected. So for example, in this scenario, your patient is being treated for low magnesium. Administering magnesium sulfate puts them at risk for hypermagnesemia, which is too much magnesium in the body. For this reason, the nurse should be aware of the antidote for magnesium sulfate, which is calcium gluconate. Now, if the patient begins to experience dysphagia, you will want to consult with the physician, dietitian, or speech therapist. They may require you to crush your patient's medication or administer meds parenterally or interally.